Right, this is Arxen Vigina as a representation of cluster style play. Um, this is not the bag on Arx Vigina. This is just about the concepts and some of the things that might change and might improve the game. Okay, we have Arx Vigina with standard setup. We have very low terrain in the middle, making up most of the Llama Trench, right? You take most of your speed off of spawn and that's the speed you'll get. It's if you get stranded in the middle, that's going to be it. And that's going to lead to the cluster style play of, you know, Bob, a bad grab, uh, landing in the midfield or being punted after being shut down and then clustering it um, with the offense players and the defense coming off of roaming. And of course, the defense of roaming also coming off to help out uh, the return. Okay, usually most of the action happens in the flattest area of the map because there's nowhere to go and that's why it takes so long um now we have of course the standard setup um even though doc matrix didn't agree with me back when i had my SimCity video you have one hill two hills where the spawns are and then you have one hill two hills separating the middle and separating the gap routes always going around the map okay and that's about it. That's all there is to Arx and Venus, are a very simple concept uh, that seems to be working. I mean, it's sniper dependent, but not overly so, except when a grab goes wrong, the defense fails uh, to see the split second uh, grab attempt, and then it's a stand to stand. Now, this is the thing that I really don't like about most of the maps, is the fact that you have this stand to stand that can just go and take a cap, and that's only the capper. That is, the defense, yes, does fail. But there is no way back after having seen exciting and maybe a bit more skillful cluster play, which really relies on teamwork and then and chaining skill and actually doing dueling skill. Um, there you have the capper, you know, and I think the dependence because it's only the sniper. If the sniper gets taken down, which of course requires teamwork on the part of the offense. Uh, but there's a lot, a lot of luck involved as well, because if there's bad spawns involved uh, that can't can't quite do the chase or whatever or the offense is just not in position there's going to be um some cheap grabs going to happen and very quick grabs um and i think that could be different with a different style of mapping concept where it isn't going to rely so much on one person namely the capper now like i said this cluster play I've casted it, I've enjoyed it, it's a type of map, but I think there's room for another type as well. And that's the one I'm going to present to you right now. Right, quick illustration of the mapping concept that I'm talking about. We have in the upper left, we have here the model used by most maps. Now again, you know, Crossfire doesn't have those two hills in the middle, no, because it is a Llama Trench, okay? You've got the hills around the side, making up the capping routes, and that's it you've got a lot of maps following some somewhat similar things i mean uh, dangerous crossing you just stretch these hill out around the bowl into a bowl and you have that map okay now the point is you see the blue square okay good unless you're colorblind wait you can still see blue don't matter you've got the black square here which is basically the playable area of the map what you have here most players like i showed before only play in, the, the, in this area. You have the corners of the map completely cut off, not even most cappers will actually get there. So you have really only 50% of the mapping surface being used. That's a lot of wasted space, right? And I don't know, the problem is that even most big, the big maps simply stretch out the middle uh, distance that people have to travel and because it's always in a straight line to go and die on offense, people think that's boring. And people will be inclined to destack because they're just going to stay at home. They just don't want to do the same boring rounds over and over and over again. Okay. Now, for a lot of people, for the competitive players, the mechanics and the teamwork come in to spruce up a bit of the, the play. Yeah. But if for public players, they don't have that teamwork. They don't have any of those things going on. And they will just resign themselves to go spawn, move, straight line, die. They never experience rhymes. They only experience the dueling, never the skiing, right? They will never see more than 50%. Sometimes, I think, in the big maps, only 10% of, um, of the terrain is ever skied on, all right? 
So, now look at the other ones here. I have three different subjects. So, you've, some of these things, like uh, the one at the lower right, for instance, looks like Titan, uh, an old uh, tribes map. But the two concepts that I will look at right now that I have made concepts for are the upper right here and the lower left. So, the, the one I'm going to show you first is the one I call Zuba's Lament, and that's this one, okay? That's with two giant hills that actually prevent people from passing, so forcing a snake-like pattern, right, for the cappers, and um, usually band-aiding the map, because that's mapping band-aids will help with these bigger concepts, the, the ones we saw. Like, for instance, Blue Shift did this, but not to an enough an extent, I think, because that was also with a blocking path in the middle, namely the um, the giant crater. But didn't work out yet because offense is spawning in bad locations and is not getting enough speeds to actually use the big map. Because of course, the bigger your map is, the higher the player's speed needs to be. All right, and that needs to do, like for instance, blue shift can be fixed by conduits, speed conduits of the spawn, as I said before. Now. This one here um, is, of course, tunneled through the middle as well to allow heavy offense to go into the midfield, but we have a midfield that isn't a Lama Trench. But we'll get back to that in a second. And, of course, the uh, upper right one here, that one will be shown like, though, diagonal base, and we'll get into that. That's Natara, my pride and joy. That's for later. So first now... Let's take a quick look at Zuba's Lament. Right, we have Zuba's Lament straight out of SimCity. Actually, no. I will show you. I actually drew this map in grayscale, in GIMP. All right, that's what it looked like. Then I imported it into something called TerraSculptor Pro Beta and actually made this. Now, this is ready to be exported into UDK, uh, something I will not show you because I haven't had a, the time to actually make it work. But this thing... You can ski on this. If you had, if we had the tools from from Hydras, not even the tools. If we had the information from Hydras to ski, boom, this is that. You could do that on this map, right? Um, this is finished already. Just needs the texture, and then you're done. Anyway, I'm just going to talk about a couple of things using this map. Three things: the general mapping concept, which you sort of already know by now. Then the base, and then the terrain-specific mechanics, because because I painted this terrain by hand, right, this is an obvious map because we have another one with another concept with a hill in the middle called Natara that I will talk about later, which incorporates more refined ideas. This one's um, still viable, I think, but very simplistic just to show you the idea behind it. Okay, so first the concept really quickly. The idea is to have the two blocking hills to open up the rest of the map. There's no Llama Trench here. People just find their own way. Now, just as you say, when you say this is far too big and this will never work because people get lost to bollocks, no. This map is the size of Canabatic right now. It's got a giant motherfucking hill, the kind of one you saw on Temple Ruins, okay? It's not much bigger. This is the one. That's the hill that blocks, that makes, is part of the base, really. Okay, that bit, that hill, not that big. This midfield, this, the distance between the two bases, not much more than most other tribes maps. But because there's not a straight line, there's going to be, of course, an issue with timing. And people say, oh, but that's going to be a boring map. No, because, of course, big, big hills come big speed and you will increase the average speed of every player. Probably heavy's going 250 when they're coming down. Okay, it just changes the speed. And if there are problems there, you can still band-aid it with the conduit scene on blue shift. And there's ways of directing traffic on this map, but I will detail that in the terrain. All right, we have a base here. All right, and now there's a capper issue. And a very simple thing, regular cappers, good cappers, comp cappers will always find a way to play this game. Okay, they will always find a way to exploit the terrain, but we have a lack of campus, so that's why this concept will help them as well. OK, 
okay most maps can do this but this is special because there's some very obvious routes here okay so if you go around there whoop, up turn around boom follow the cursor there for a second this could be a capping route just going through okay there will also be a lot better static routes because of the size of the hills and of course increased cluster play because that's an important aspect as well um but that because this is something i will detail in the base segment is that you will need to compensate for maybe longer travel times which is something that needs to be but i can't know because i can't test this terrain okay so i can't flesh out some of the details that will be required but i can compensate with the base design will facilitate offense more and allow them to be alive longer and the way the spawning system works will also prevent uh the d stack now voila this is that i'm first gonna go now to the base design okay the base will be located on this map specifically in this corner of the map okay so the back to front stand to stand thing is impossible by the way these bases are laid out you could of course go over the hill people say eventually people will get over the hill that's fine you go high your speed will be enormous and that's where the sniper play will come back in because the sniper is a bit hampered by the fact that there's a lot of line of sight blocking going on here he can be on top of this hill you really can okay that's good but the offense will all come from all angles here onto this or maybe even around there the sniper can do that but there's ways of countering the effectiveness but i'm not going to completely shut out the sniper either okay because yeah i'll show you in a minute but base down here and i'll take another view this is the big blocking hill okay sorry for the lack of uh, pixels um and this is the spawn hill so in this bowl, the base will be. So if you're on the stand, this is probably what your vision is going to be of the map. Okay. Now, if you're going up to, let's see, up to the hill here. Dolly that a little bit. Yeah, the camera stuff on this editor aren't perfect yet. They're working on it. It's still a beta. While orbiting here. This, see, this is a giant hill, so even if you're going to go to the very top, you're always going to block your own sight, okay? You've got some idea. There's, of course, going, if, if there's going to be a problem with the cappers, then there will be, of course, some more fog and some line of sight blocking. But the sniper seeing the capper like this isn't really a problem because, like I said, the offense will come. So, again, it, with some buildings and stuff, some line of sight blockers up here as well, the sniper's never going to be able to see everything, and the window for seeing things will be rather small. But those are details that need to be worked out. Anyway, now to the base design. All right, so let's go back. Keep in mind, so spawn hill, uh, spawn hill, sorry, spawn hill, line of sight blocking hill, and then, of course, the capping rads going straight like that. Some might go a little bit otherwise. All right, okay, let's go to that. So here we are in the mighty SketchUp to show you the map, the base concept for um, Zubis Lament here. We've got the big hill over here. That's the blocking hill, which you can already see is being tunneled. Um, this is, of course, to help out traffic. Um, but the idea is that you go through the conduit and they'll scale up the hill to prevent any sort of um, the shenanigans. But uh, that's to facilitate. Now, the idea is as well to have a generator room inside that hill which will power the conduit. So when the generator is down, the D players will not be able to leave the base. Now you think this might actually help D stacking, but there will also be other things like there won't be any um, O happening whatsoever. Cappers won't be able to set out. So there's a little bit, the bases are big enough to have the generator play going on because of course it's the idea to make a map that everyone will like and will not scorn anyone who doesn't want to devote their lives to comp anyway you have the spawn hill which i also pointed out this one there which has a special little feature as i show you the um there is a ramp inside that's a hollowed out hill which means that all the spawning will happen here so you will get speed off of the spawn into the base but which also means that uh the sniper will be indoors uh which of course means he can't snipe out cappers right when he respawns so if the sniper wants to go all the way up the top the big hill there he will need 
there will be a slight trek involved. So every time the sniper gets taken out, he's probably down for at least one capping route because you have to go all the way up. And if the generator's down again, then it's go even, going to be even more difficult because, of course, that hill's big enough that you can't jet up in one go. And probably you'll fall off again. That's the idea of that blocking hill. Um, another thing, of course, that the offense could try and contain people inside the spawn hill which is the kind of play you see um, if with Nick and Spawn enabled uh, in the old Tribes games. You know, there was the, the Spawn raping going on. That could happen right here, depending on how the base is implemented. Because, of course, this is a very rough idea. This is a concept, okay? So you can implement this either way, any way possible. This is the idea of a rough idea that can be balanced any way possible. Anyway, then we go... Um, to the actual stand so it yeah, will just zoom in real quick that's the stand so we're gonna go in there and if the orbit worked well there we have the Nicaraguan flag um, as a proxy for whatever map uh, whatever flag or site you're on in tribes ascent I couldn't find any other but all right so this is the stand this is the view of the stand so there you have the big conduits going up to the big hill which you can't see uh too much of because otherwise i clip into the stand but it's there trust me uh, then we have this circular um half cave so the, the stand itself if you look the stand itself is not covered so um there's still a lot of spam that can happen all right but it's the cave itself here that will provide some of the cover even for offense um there's a very interesting dynamic going on with the kind of stuff you can place in there and also which you will see now if the uh camera won't sit there you go we have that tube there which is a very obvious static route which can be blocked by mines of course but if the offense clears it this is for the lower level play so basically for kappa saying go there now and they will get out with a flag and there's of course will be a corresponding tube on the other end of this of this uh, cave here on this one but I haven't done that um, to save time because I am very pressed for time. That's also why this all of this stuff hasn't been made in UDK because I just I, the SketchUp was a lot of work already. So all right, that's again I say the map makers of high res are very good. I'm just trying to help them with certain ideas to make these maps you know um, come viable as well because I'm, I'm I'm in the spawn hill. Whoopsie daisies, there we are now. So this is the basic idea for the the map as a base but uh, yeah base concept zoom is meant that's one idea okay very open and of course if if the skiing's proper then you could probably do some kind of temple ruins type thing in here um there's a lot of possibility for this and of course based all, all of this green area can still be covered with all sorts of things to help offense survive longer Okay, because they are going to have a bit of a longer trek, depending on how well the rest of the map is implemented. Okay, so now to the terrain. Right, so here we have a terrain concept. And this is something that hasn't been really been worked on, because everyone's got ideas about bases, but maybe not how the terrain should work. There's, of course, the basic terrain that allows cappers to work, because I think a lot of the early, um, the, the early tribes maps, they... There wasn't any idea for what the Kappas was going to do. I had this confirmed by KP, and nothing bad about him. It's just that he didn't know how to cap on a competitive level, so he didn't know the requirements. I don't know how to cap on a competitive environment either, but I do know that there's a lack of Kappas, and there's no capping almost happening on the lower levels. So you need to be very obvious. So that's why, like I said, the, the tube I just showed you, just to go straight to the stand, like a really easy llama grab type thing, that wouldn't be optimal, of course, because it's easily blocked and there's really not the fastest thing you could do because regular cappers will find better ways to do that. I hope on that, right? But also, of course, the llama trench problem. The llama trench problem, uh, people won't, will never go fast, so they will never learn to ski, which they won't even cap either. So we have basically filler terrain. Filler terrain is what will replace the llama trench. Okay, and this is what you're looking at right now in SketchUp, a very schematic idea, all right, of making valleys instead of hills. All right, the map is made by making hills, uh, like the, you know, the two hills in the middle of every tribes map, or no hills at all in Zenstar, all of those things. Right now, that's the only way to do it. You've got the Llama Trench and the rest of the map, which is capping area. No, no more. Like I showed you in Zuba's Lament, this is the idea behind that that's stuff in the middle. So you have these ridges, basically. Okay, so you have valleys. You're working with valleys 
instead of hills. So you connect each one. So let's look at this one, for instance, the one in front here, which is a bit more outspoken. A valley with a block, valley, block. You know, this, of course, can then get smoothed out. So people have an idea. So you build in a speed building up. You're not going to have just a hill to ski down on. No, you need a direction as well. So you're going to point in the direction. Now, the way this works is you can also influence the way people do this um, by making a one-way hill. And a one-way hill is the one I show you here, which is basically exactly that. You can go from here to here, but you can't go the other way unless you're a kappa and you can just jump and barely make it over. Okay, that's a one-way hill which blocks movements, which you can use to influence the way people go about the map and influence the way they ski as well. All right, so this is a bit more steep, a bit more pronounced. This is the general idea, nice and flat. Okay, so I'm now going to go back to Zubis Lament and show you how that it, these concepts of valleys get implemented in the mapping concept. All right, so this is Zubis Lament again. And now we're going to look at the middle areas so we have it's gonna go in very slowly the mid hills here they are actually one-way hills if you look at this there's a very steep angle which cappers will have no problem with but other classes as well but this is basically a valley right this valley right here steep hill slow hill steep hill lesser hill and that's how you go about it and that's how if you zoom out and have the top view here, you can actually see the way the, the, so this is a this is blocked. This is blocked. Again, you will be able to overcome this, but this is basically to point people in the right direction. Okay. Using the maps as a sort of tutorial. This is how desperate I am, people. Go down. This is where you gain speed. Go up, voila, and follow the terrain and snake around. And you probably won't have such a hard time skiing on this map. And it will actually be quite fast because the higher you make these hills, you know, of course, the easier it's going to be. If you have uh, the perspective view again, you can exaggerate this a bit because there's, you can change everything in this in this mapping editor, right? If we're just going to put this to 150% uh, and do this to 53,000, for instance, then that should be all right, I think. That's going to exaggerate things a little bit more. Voila, it's 56. Okay, boom. That's going to show the, the issue. This is, of course, far too extreme to use in the game. All right, this is, this is stupid. But that really shows you how this concept works of having these. Now, if you think about other tribes maps, for instance, okay, they're going to look horrible by comparison. If you're going to just look at this for a second here, here is Catabatic, okay? This is a picture I took. I'm not going to go in back in here. You've got the hill here, the hill here, and you've got all this flat ground. Okay? Compare that. And now in the background, of course, in the background where nobody goes, you have sort of that thing going on. It's very natural. But this is very, um, uh, I don't know, very, yeah, unnatural, very, very made, you know? So that compared to this as a midfield and you of course have trenches but they don't go anywhere they're part of the design all right good now i'm going to show you another type of map real quickly which also embraces that valley idea this is a map concept which is completely randomly generated and then as you see from the edges um mirrored by me um this again has no routes whatsoever. This is completely randomly generated. Okay, this is quick illustration of how it could be uh, with a base here. Maybe we'll just look it into perspective. It has, yeah, the top hills that impede movements for some. So you will have some kind of best way of dealing it, but never a straight line, which will, of course, bring the flag more into play. I mean, if you're trying to cluster it, uh, the way, of course, the spawns are handled, so how, how good is chasing, how much time on the cap is going to need to return. But this is an idea for a map, like with a, with a middle center bowl to orient yourself if you get lost, which is another fun concept that you could never imagine in Drive. This is a very small map, by the way. This is probably the size of Canyon Crusade or something. Um, but again, it's going to have a lot more travel time 
on it and it's maybe not necessarily bad if there's like two or three caps fine but if there's movement constant movement and people are actually engaged in the game and there's a lot more strategy involved with positioning and how you are going to approach things instead of just going straight there will be a lot more depth but this is just an idea you know this is actually pretty good terrain to think about even though it came out of a random generator but it has that same feel of certain hills that you can use in other valleys maybe some too many open areas but this is the kind of stuff that is possible okay with a different view and not just the llama trench idea all right now we're gonna go to we've got we've seen the um the base we've seen the map the terrain concept and now i'm going to bring it to my most elaborate terrain concept I don't have the base specified yet, but I call it Natara and already I think, I hope it is influencing Hi-Rez somewhat.